Are we good? All right. Questions? Did you see yourself playing? Did you see yourself playing star when you first committed and signed and everything? Uh, no, actually, when I originally committed here, I was supposed to play corner. So um, when fall camp started, they asked me to move to star and try and learn it. So uh, I was more than happy to accommodate them. Anything they needed, anything that would have assisted making us a better team in general, I was happy to do it. They made the move right away. Um, no, I started there. Started at corner all summer long. Um, I learned that position, summer meetings, things like that. And the day fall camp started, the day we reported, um, is when they asked me, hey, can you learn star? And I was more than happy to accommodate. You've uh, obviously gotten pretty comfortable there. Yes, sir. You, did you expect at that point to get as much playing time as you're getting? Um, no. Originally, I just wanted to come in, be a, a, more of a student, uh, learn under you know, Cadillac Therese and uh, Justin Garrett at the time. Uh, that was really my main goal, is to learn as much as I could. And if playing time presented itself, I, you know, I would definitely do everything I could, play as hard as I could. But um, originally, I just wanted to learn the position. What's the toughest transition been for you to, to move inside of that role? Um, toughest transition has definitely been the physicality. Um, as a corner, you're more of a cover guy. You're dealing with guys really, you know, more so your size. Um, now you're dealing with linemen, tight ends. So just really the physicality, you learn to get off blocks, and just, like I said before, being physical. What, what, you talk about the physicality. What particularly is it just, you know, obviously going against bigger guys or, or what? Uh, definitely the bigger guys coming out of high school. Um, you're typically bigger than most kids. So um, dealing with guys who are 6'5", 6'6", or you know, tackles who are 300 something pounds, or running backs who are 230 pounds is definitely a big transition. What's your comfort level now out there playing the position? Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably say about an eight. I've definitely adjusted well um, under Coach Cheese and uh, Coach Johnson. They've definitely guided me, um, shown me on film what areas I can improve on. I've really focused on that in practice. So um, I'm getting comfortable day by day. I'm just working on getting better. The, way the, the roughing call that you got maybe two games ago, did you feel shame? <laughs> uh, um, no, um, it, was, it was a learning experience. Um, you know, I didn't see it at first uh, when I saw it on film. Me and Coach Miles on discussed it. Um, like I said before, it was just a learning experience, and you know, we'll move on from it. I mean, you're trying to be tough out there, obviously, and you want to be an enforcer. It's kind of tough to draw that line and know exactly where to stop. Is that yeah, it was. It, it was. It's definitely difficult in the heat of battle. You know, split second decisions. But um, you know, the rule says strike zone, and um, you know, I, like I said before, I got to learn. You know, aim lower, protect. You know, it's all about protection of other players. So, you know, um, hopefully it won't happen again. But like I said, just aim for the strike zone, get better, learn from it. You probably felt like you'd made a made a really good hit, and then you get up and find out you're probably out of the game. Was that kind of shocking? <laughs> um, at first, when I first hit him, I knew. I kind of knew, like, okay, they might throw that, but um, I wasn't too, too, too happy about being ejected. But like I said before, it, it happens. You know, it was a split second, so there's not really much I can do about it. Not, I can't change it. So um, you know, move, from, move on from it, learn from it, get better. That middle safety role you play when you guys go with the three-man front, how different is that from playing star? Um, not particularly too much different. Um, star and safety, kind of the same idea. As far as drops, um, reading, coverages, <coughs> understanding you know, where you got to be. Uh, the only difference is really just learning how to get out. Instead of backpedaling, you got to just get out and get depth. So outside of that, it's really simply, it's really kind of like a middle linebacker role, which um, is not much different from star. I think moving Garrett to linebacker, do you feel like that's sort of them saying that they, they trust you, they believe in you now, and, and they feel like you can be the backup? Um, I wouldn't say it's more so that they trust me. It's more so that uh, we're just trying to create as much depth as we possibly can in all areas. And um, with Justin moving, that creates more depth in the linebacker core. And you know, with me being behind the easy, you know, we still have that depth at start. So I, I don't take it as they trust me. You know, I hope they do. And I'm sure I'm trying to earn that trust day by day. But um, I think it's just a matter of us getting as much depth in our um, linebacker core and our defense in general. How much, how much do your cover skills help you talk about being a corner and coming in as the, how much did that help you in your, in your role that you're playing now? Um, it, was, it helped me in the sense that it was just a natural transition. Um, being able to cover slot guys, um, not much different than covering uh, large wide receivers as far as you know, learning movements, tendencies, habits. So that transitioned pretty quickly over to star. Nick, how much of an asset has it been to have a guy like Robinson to learn under? Uh, he's been amazing from day one. He's worked on my footwork, uh, 
like I said, he worked on how I get off blocking, um, the techniques that we use here, as opposed to things I had, I had a bad tendency to do prior to. He's really been um, a big brother to me um, in a lot of senses, um, not just on the field, but off the field. I owe a lot of my success and uh, a lot of what I do now to him. Well, Ellis said, I think during fall camp, he, he thinks you have a lot of similarities with the problems. Do you think that's a fair comparison? Um, as far as playing style? Well, right now, uh, I guess he would know better than I do. So if he thinks so, then I'm more than happy to accept that compliment. How big is this week for you and, and for the defense now that you've got you know, half a season under your belt to kind of refine things and, like you said, kind of kind of figure out some things heading into next week? Um, it's it's been real good for us. So you know we've got to practice. It's been it was a really good practice. We're just really getting back to basics, um, working on each other as a team, working on technique and things like that. So. It's, you know, it's good for us. We're getting a lot of guys back and get a chance to rest and um, just get better and focus on you know, our main problem areas, which is going to be big for us going forward. Nick, you said you kind of planned on maybe sitting and kind of watching and learning more this first season. Has your head, has there been any time when your head's kind of been spinning, knowing that you're out there as much as you are? Um, no, not exactly. Um, Coach Harbison has definitely done a good job of making sure I keep my composure. <laughs> as well as my teammates, Josh Holsey, um, Rudy Ford, Moncrief, and of course, Cadillac. Um, they definitely made sure I kept my head level and understood that, you know, this is no different than any game you've ever played in. It's still football. Football is football wherever you go. So um, regardless to the level or scale it's on, it's football. Nick, what, what, this is the first time you've experienced something new now having with, with losing a game here. Uh, has it been different since that happened? Um, it was definitely difficult. Um, mentally to kind of wrap my head around it, but um, you know it's, it's something that happens. You win some, you lose some, and that's that's part of life in general. So you gotta learn how to cope with it, understand the mistakes that we made, and um, correct them and fix it. Make sure it doesn't happen again. How much have you heard about last year? Last year, the only regular season loss. They, they had a week off, and they, they really got better after that. Has that been something the veterans and the coaches? Um, no, we uh, tend not to bring up. We tend not to bring up uh, anything from last year. We try and focus on the current, the current process and the current team. We, um, you know, everything the team last year did prior to, is a uh, big, you know, it was big in what we have now. But you know, like I said, um, everything is focused on the current. Do you feel like just from what you see around you guys have have put it behind them and moved on now? The uh, definitely. Um, you know, no one's hanging their heads still. Everybody's moved on. Um, we're making sure that those mistakes that we made in the last game, they will not happen again. Nick, Nick have, have you and any of the freshmen kind of talked about, just, it seems like there are several of y'all that have played big roles already, Trey and, and Braden and some of those guys that just come in and throw up and throw them to the, the fire, so to speak. Um, as far as that goes, you know, we, some of us kind of expect to be, you know, top tier, you know, we, Every guy comes in, they want to be a true freshman, they want to be the best, and freshman All-American, the whole nine. So I think when you have guys who have that mentality that come in, uh, they already understand what they're getting themselves into, and it's not anything that they didn't expect for themselves. All right. Thank you, Nick.